Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you could get the film simulations from, for example, an X-Pro3 that has classic negative into your older camera, maybe an XE3 or even an X-Pro1 or any other Fujifilm camera. The principle is quite simple. You get an app where you could change the metadata and you copy the metadata from an X-Pro3 file over to the metadata on an XPRO1 file, for example. Quite simple, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Those of you who are familiar with Capture One know that we have something called base characteristics. And in the base characteristic, you have access to all of those film simulations that you have in the camera as well. This image was made with an XPRO3. This image is made with an X Pro 1, therefore it's an X Pro 1 generic, but there's no film simulations accessible on the X Pro 1. The other image here is made with an XE3, and you have some of those film simulations, but for example, you don't have classic negative. So I'm gonna show you a way where you could get access to all of these film simulations on the older cameras. To do this, we use an app called MetaImage. Quite simple, it's drag and drop. So drop your images that you want to change metadata on into this app. And over here, we see that we have software and we have camera model name. This is the two metadata fields that you need to change. If we look on the export tree, we have the information we need. So we copy this one, Digital Camera X Pro 1. This text will be available in the description if you don't have access to this metadata. So we, from here, we could select all the images we have and simply just copy paste the text over on the software. And let's go back and copy the text from the camera model name. Select all the images. Make sure that the right field over here is selected and take command V. And when we click the images, we clearly see that they are changed. There's also a red indicator here that indicates that something has been changed, but we need to save this. So we go up to save and use save all edited files. When you click in this, there's gonna be an indication when the task is done. From here, we can go back to Capture One and I'm gonna re-import the images that we change metadata on. So we have them here, meta change. Let's import them. And I'm gonna put them in a subfolder called meta change. This is just for demonstration, so it's not a workflow in any way. You could even apply this metadata change even on your memory card. So it make it simple, you get just get it right when you import it. If we look on these images now, and we go to the base characteristics, we see that they are all shown as an x 3 camera. And let's sync it up, let's uh, choose classic negative, let's put the white balance at 6000 Kelvin, and adjust the tint a little bit up there, uh, increase the exposure a little bit, push down the highlight, maybe lift up the shadow, add some contrast, something like that. And now we're gonna sync all these settings up. So they are the same on all images. And to do that, I use Command A. And with this one selected, I use Command, Shift and C. And then I press Command, Shift and V. And now the adjustments goes over on all the images and we see that we have that classic negative look on all the images. There is, however, some smaller differences on the images. That is probably due to different sensors, sometimes a little bit different adjustments on the camera, but you kind of have a very good starting point to work with the film simulations that you want. This should also work, for example, if you type in an X-T5, if there's some newer simulations on those cameras, you should be able to get those simulations to your older cameras. Um, if you like this kind of video, there's more content relative to film and photo stuffs, um, and click here to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I see you later.